country. And he's about to make a change in the current administration and send them home. Thank you everybody for being here tonight. Tonight we make the decision on what's right for America. More prosperity, less gas prices, less food prices, help for our veterans, and God bless our military wherever they are in this United States. And abroad. There will be no war if there wasn't and gentlemen, anyone President Trump. Please was president. welcome the next president, president of the United today. States, Donald J. Trump. scene, the first public image, I guess you could say, or video of former President Trump since the assassination attempt on his life. You can, you can clearly see where he was shot uh, through his ear. There's a, there's a bandage uh, covering it. We heard, uh, heard from his doctor, his former doctor at the White House, who's now a congressman, uh, Ronnie Jackson, in an interview saying that uh, this is a pretty sensitive area in the body and that'll likely be wearing that for at least a few days until it does heal and, and, and won't be at risk of bleeding. But, um, you know, he just did a, an amazing walkthrough with the, um, his, I guess, the, the theme song that he, he, he has at all of his rallies. He's about to be an American Lee Greenwood singing it live uh, in the venue. We're not going to hear from the former president uh, tonight, but he did make the appearance. Right now he's standing next to his vice president, uh, pick, his pick for vice president, J.D. Vance. We saw Tucker Carlson there, who's also a good friend of Vance as well, uh, and his son, Don, uh, Don Jr.'s wife right behind him, and he's, he's flanked right there. We'll see what, uh, what comes next as the song wraps up.
please welcome Mark Laws from Cedar Springs, Michigan. And there you just saw the crowd chanting, uh, you know, uh, USA, USA, the former president in attendance right now, probably to catch the last hour of speeches where you, right now you have Mark Laws, grandfather of three and retiree, um, who's going to talk about his experience under uh, the current administration and how he feels as though he's suffering from inflation. But before we get to his speech, it looks like the crowd is not going to uh, let up on their chance for former President Trump, and they do now. And uh, maybe we'll cut into the speech for a moment. That's what we need, a positive message, if not in word, in deed, and we saw it tonight. Still some images there of the president, former president. Good sitting. evening, I'm Mark Laws, and I live in western Michigan. I'm not a senator or a governor or some other politician, but... I'm just a regular guy, but to my kids and my grandkids who call me Peepa, I'm the guy. I live on a fixed income, so I'm not one of the people that watch their portfolios. No, in the big boy Joe economy, I just worry about getting through the day. But I'm fortunate because I don't have a mortgage. If I did, I'm really not sure how I'd make it. The big boy Joe inflation has turned our dollars into nickels. And in Michigan, we got 180,000 plus people that are in tax lien foreclosure right now. So even though I don't have a mortgage, I could, I still got to pay the government to rent my house. And if I don't, they take it away. When I'm asked how I'm doing, I answer honestly, I say, I'm doing okay. But don't you remember under President Trump, we didn't have to settle for just okay. We were doing great. I wanted to make some improvements to my home, but with inflation and the price of materials, that's not possible. So I don't want to go into debt, so I just put it off. I'd also like to spoil my grandkids with some great PFA unique gifts for their birthdays. But with the price of gas and groceries, I don't do that. I settle for a cake and ice cream. Prices keep going up, but my income stays the same. I just keep putting things off, hoping that I'll be able to afford them again someday. It's got me thinking. I've been hoping for better days. But life is happening right now. And we can't waste any more time on the uh, big boy Joe terrible economic policies. We need to bring Donald Trump back right now. We need to know and share the 20 promises that Donald Trump has made. We need to get involved with the, the, the Trump 47. And uh, you remember, ballots win elections, so that's the best way to do it. I know a lot of folks just kind of tune the politics out. But we really can't afford to anymore. And there we're hearing from Mark Laws right now. He is a resident of Michigan, a grandfather of 13, and a retiree talking about how inflation has been impacting him. We are getting word that Senator J.D. Vance of Ohio, who is now the vice presidential pick by former President Trump, spoke earlier on Sean Hannity, and I think we have a sound bite, so let's play that. When the president called me today to actually formally offer me to become, you know, the vice presidential nominee, which just sounds crazy, um, my 
my son, my seven-year-old son, was sort of making noise in the background. You know, I'm getting so embarrassed. Speak all. Who knows whether it's good or bad. But then he actually has me put my seven-year-old son on the phone. You think about this. Everything that's happened, the guy just got shot at a couple of days ago, and he takes the time to talk to my seven-year-old. It's a moment I'll never forget. You know, he, he just said, look, uh, I think you're going to go save this country. Uh, I think you're the guy who can help me in the, in, the, in the best way. You can help me govern. You can help me win. You can help me in some of these Midwestern states like Pennsylvania, Michigan, and so forth. So there we just heard from Ohio Senator J.D. Vance speaking with Sean Hannity about when he found out he was going to be the vice presidential nominee or pick by the 